Corner and today we are reviewing from AliExpress a bootleg version of Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man. So as you know this figure is beyond impossible to get unless you want to sell a little kidney for it. Uh, and AliExpress, you know, with there in the bootlegs, the, there is a black um, symbiote Spider-Man on there and a Ben Riley. And this one's took a little bit of time to come out, so I've been following it. And as soon as it was available, I went out and got it. So the only unfortunate thing is about the, probably the price of it. With all tax and shipping on there, I paid about £27, which is just awful. But it's actually the tax that really boosts it up a hell of a lot. Anyway, so here he is. It comes straight from AliExpress today, and this is how it's arrived. I can feel like a box inside, and on top is a jiffy bag. So we're just going to cut this open and have a look-see inside. On this part, and then we've got a box. Open this up. Lovely, lovely. So it comes really well packed. It's not going to get damaged in any particular way. So inside we have more shrink wrap and again more tape. And the good thing about these as well, and the reason why I actually purchased it, it actually comes with a Peter Parker head as well. And that's why it's probably a little bit more than the other one because you can get it without the Peter Parker head and um, obviously then it brings down the cost a little bit. So let's get them out. So we've got the body and inside here we have the extra heads that he would originally come with and he's got fists as well. There's no open palmed hand in this set either. But um, here he is looking pretty nice to be honest with you and actually that Peter Parker head looks a lot better than I thought it would actually be. So anyway, I'm gonna go away, take some pictures, put him through his paces and I'm comparing to some other Spider-Man that I got, and I'll see you in a moment. What can I say about this bootleg Spider-Man? Well, to be honest, it's not going to win any rewards, that's for sure. And it's not as good as some of those Black Series ones we have picked up in the past. But, you know, it's actually got every single kind of uh, movement that the official one has, which is really cool. It comes with these extra accessories. And obviously, I paid just a tiny little bit extra to have a Peter Parker head because that's going to come in handy a little bit later on and probably in a later video. However, he comes with the same accessories that the official ones come with. So he comes with the extra spider mask on here. Um, and actually, the whole sculpt of it is pretty cool. There's no like hard edges or sort of sharp parts. The only thing I would say is just up here, there's a little bit of paint missing. And then you can see like the web lines as well. They're kind of sort of like bleeding off a little bit. And they're not as symmetrical as, uh, as probably as the official one would be. But um, nonetheless, it's not too bad. And obviously, it just fits on the head with the ball joint. The other accessories it comes with is his closed fists. And um, yeah, looking not too bad, to be honest. Again, the lines are a little bit questionable, but um, none, it's, it's fine. You know, once it's on the Spider-Man figure, then, you know, it's just, it's just lines. And he's got um, clenched hands, so it's pretty cool. And obviously, it comes with his flipping hands. And um, not too shabby at all but if you wanted to you can always pop one of these off and i did pick up a pizza spider-man bootleg a little while ago and actually his open palmed hand fits right in there and it's quite a good color match to be honest so it's pretty much exactly the same so if you've got those ones laying around you have got open palmed hands for this spider-man so the last accessory he comes with is the peter parker head and um, it's just sort of like more painted than this one that I got from the uh, Renew Your Vowels um, where it's got the new face printing tech on there so that's why it looks really quite detailed compared to this one but I think it's as a bootleg Peter Parker head I think it's done pretty perfect to be honest with you the eyes look great the lines the eyebrows and the hair the actual complexion as well the face is pretty cool and um, yeah, quite happy with this one. But well, later on, I'm actually going to give this guy a bit of blonde hair. So I'm going to turn him into a Ben Riley to go with this Peter Parker. But yeah, overall, we can actually go through the actual Spider-Man himself. 
and um, we can go through his articulation and an articulation this guy has definitely got it so with his head he can turn left he can turn right he can look down this far and he can look up this far probably not as much as the official one but um, it's got an up nonetheless with his arm wise he can do full rotation around up here and it can come up to this far he's got a nice butterfly joint in there goes right around to the back this one I think it's actually more than the official arm wise it got a double pins on here but it doesn't really give you the full lot it kind of gets stuck by the uh, I think maybe the pins are a little bit too short on the actual joint but you can't get the whole bend in there rotation at the wrist and it's also on the hinge we've got the uh, diaphragm rotation and it can pivot left and right and you can crunch forward this much and back and then he's got the lower crunch as well so you can go right forward and right back leg wise you can come up this far and forward and back he's actually got a dropped hip as well so they've actually incorporated that which is fantastic upper thigh rotation we have a double knee that comes all the way up as well rotation at the boot and we've got the rocker and the pivot at the ankle so in all he has everything that the official one has the only thing i will say about it it's kind of like a figure that you used to have when you was a kid and now uh, you get him out and he's a bit loose so sometimes when you want to pose him he sort of drops a little bit goes off to one side and he sort of hangs a little bit so whether or not you can get that kind of sort of like um stuff you can spray on your figures to like stiffen them up a little bit um it'd be great because he's definitely his arms are fine and everything like that but it's just his torso area and the and the ab crunch and all that is just a little bit loose but it could be just mine but um i do feel like it might be quite a stage for all of them to be honest with you but yeah let's go through the actual uh, sculpt and actually the the paint application is completely on the figure so as you can see the spider-man mask is actually quite nice uh, again painted well as the same as the other one and then with the uh, the lines as well i think this one is actually painted a lot better than the one before we have got the spider symbol on the back but it doesn't come right over on these arms or anything like that and you can see with this one that this one's a little bit more dropped on this side and then here so um yeah a little bit inconsistency across the back on the front we have got the uh, webs coming over onto the blue unfortunately but a bit of acetone will just take that away and um, you wouldn't see it nonetheless the arms going down we've actually got the print on the actual elbow as well and down to the hands but here you can see like the web lines are kind of stops and then we've got other sort of dashes it's kind of like all done in sort of sections so this bit's like squared and then this one comes around and um, just under the arm as well um, and then you've got the small spider logo going down into the other red again the lines are not all that great and then it sort of suffers with the same thing on this arm as well going down to his feet the feet are not too bad um, but again it's just sort of like certain areas you can just see that the prints are slightly off and a little bit different it could be just mine but I do think it is a bootleg um, and you can tell those sort of differences there it's not going to be 100% great to be honest with you they might get better over time but it is a really nice start there's a Ben Riley one on there and there is a black symbiote spider-man as well so um, yeah this is probably the new era of uh, the new bootlegs for spider-man and who knows they might even make any some new ones before hasbro do maybe like the scarlet spider that would be nice but um yeah i would say it's not too bad if you couldn't get the retro spider-man and at the moment you can't afford the uh, renew your vow spider-man then this is a way to go you know it's a little bit cheaper out there and it's it's actually quite a decent spider-man and it's better than the pizza hut spider-man I said it again the pizza spider-man that i did get before on bootleg uh, it feels a bit more better quality plastic so just putting this one next to our renew your vows spider-man uh, on there so you can just see the different colors in the blues and the reds and then we can bring in the ben riley as well and um, i actually put the uh, old pizza spider-man head on here to make it inconsistent consistent with uh, the uh, renew your vows spider-man as well so um yeah in all it's, it's actually a, not a bad figure if you want to get a decent little spider-man uh, and not pay over the odds then it's pretty cool um but if if you missed out on the retro and you got this one and then get this one i would say just leave off for now 
Anyway, thank you so much for joining me in this one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this guy. Are you going to go out there and purchase him? Or are you going to have a look at the other Spider-Man that they've got on there, the black one and the Ben Riley? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.